Hello everybody, Izumi here, and today let's do some omnipotence training. So, first in my party is going to be Fula. And second is going to be Tiger God. Third in the middle is going to be Forseti. And fourth is Brunhild, silver version. And last is going to be Senia. Also keep in mind that a lot of my heroes are not um, Eclipse Field, so it's going to be hard healing without it. So there we go. Let's go. All right. So I got to be quick. We got Odin Shadow is in the Magic Row, is Aesir, and is Airborne. His action skill Judgment does 30%. Dark magic attack damage 5 times and magic defense 30% down for 3 turns to all enemies plus a 20% damage bonus against humans. His auto skill does dark magic attack and dark wound for 3 turns to all heroes in the connect. Dark wound applies to humans, elves, and beasts. On 7 star it's a chaos field. On 8 star there's a high chaos field and eclipse field as well as shadow bound for 3 turns to all heroes in the connect battle. Shadowbound hits humans, elves, and beasts. Uh, the most effective element is going to be light. So stick with that. Um, the crystals go, the magic road crystals do dark magic attack damage and magic defense 50% down to the nearest enemy row. And on 7 star and above, they, they also apply corrupt. The back crystals buff Odin. And the Magic Crystal Rose defense and magic defense by 20% and apply stone skin. And like I said, keep in mind that the Eclipse Field is going to make it really hard to heal. I can multi-solo with this team for um, the most part, but sometimes Silver Brunhild dies because she's really squishy and has no Eclipse Field. So, there you go. We'll check and see who did the most damage here. Alright. Thank you for watching.